Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here with Gomrath Games, and tonight I'm going to be bringing you a guide to the best pets from every family. I've covered the best pets from every continent, the best pets from Raiding with Leashes, and now I just want to go into every family and talk about these are the kind of the all-stars of every different type. And we're going to start with Aquatic because that's A. A lot of this is based off of my personal experience with the pets, but as well, it's based off of a Wowhead article that I will leave in the link in the description below. Um, and we're going to start off with the aquatics. So uh, the very first pet I want to talk about when it comes to aquatics is the Emperor Crab. Now this guy is a powerhouse. So at the end of Mr. Pandaria, uh, well, not the end of Miss Pandaria. When Miss Pandaria came out and battle pets became a thing, this guy was one of the best pets in the entire game for PvP. And that was because of his abnormally high power level. Now, when talking about these pets, I am going to be making mentions to breeds. And there's only certain breeds of particular pets that make them useful. And so it's the Power Power Emperor Crab. And what makes this guy so wonderful is his huge heal okay to have a heal on a three round cooldown that does 565 health is it's it's top tier it's broken i mean it is really really incredibly powerful as well you can throw out healing mists but it does not heal as much it only heals for a grand total uh what is that 450 health compared to this 565 so you definitely want healing mist over renewal and this is the normal setup that I run him on. Um, there is a case for Snap. It does deal significant amount more damage than Surge. But when you are going up against, like, let's say the Terraclaw Hatchling or the Fiendish Imp, there's actually a lot of pets in the current meta that rely on running um, a, a fast pet. I actually like Surge better. But there are some instances where Snap is really the way to go. The other thing that makes this guy just awesome in PvP is his shell shield, okay? So the amount of damage blocked is based on power, and since he has 357, that shell shield blocks a ton. Now, if you're running into teams that are running um, haunt teams, like the Ghastly Kid, the Unborn Valk, or uh, the Wicked Soul, he's the latest addition, this guy totally counters them because of his racial, where harmful damage over effects are reduced by 50%, it means that dots do so little. And with the shell shield, he can take a haunt and just totally negate the entire thing. So he is definitely somebody you want to add. Uh, I mentioned where he was in my Best Pets of Pandaria pet, but you can find him out in the Dreaded Waste. Now, this guy has really grown on me. Uh, I just kind of started using him not too long ago and I found he's just really fantastic for a lot of fights. He is an SS uh, Slithershock Elver. Now this is a 3% drop from completing the um, Eris the Collector pet in your garrison and she drops a variety of different breeds. Now I have the Speed Speed breed and the Power Power breed. But what makes this guy particularly useful is his high speed. Because any pet that has dive and dodge, these two here, or even a stun, they greatly benefit from going first. So he, he he's like a rabbit, you know, a swimming rabbit. And that he's got double dodges, so he can dodge for two turns because he can outspeed most pets. And then when your dodge falls off, you can dive. So he can just negate a ton of damage, and he's really, really frustrating to play against in PvP if he's played correctly. As well, he's got Deep Bite, which plays a lot like Arcane Blast in that it's a move that does not do a lot of damage at first, but ramps up to a pretty heavy-hitting attack. So, yeah, I think this guy's fantastic. And I believe the SS Breed is the best. That's my personal opinion. I really love it. Now, this is not on the Wowhead list, but he has recently become one of my favorites. Now, this here is the Golden Civet, I think that's how you say it. Uh, they're found in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and they're these otter pets. And when I did my Best Pets of Pandaria, I did not even mention this guy. But 
recently I found that he can do really well in PvP. Now, what makes this guy really great in PvP is there's a lot of elementals in the Kurt meta. And uh, he's got Dive, which is a really hard-hitting aquatic type move. But he also has Survival and Bite. Now, what makes this guy awesome and just kind of uh, he flies under the radar is Survival here. Okay, so this guy, what if you're low health, let's say you're below 400 health, okay, and you pop survival and they do an attack that would kill you. Now what you can do is they will, it's like dodge basically, where you can't be taken below one health and it lasts for two rounds if you're faster than the other pet. And so you can take damage that would kill you you can attack a second time, take more damage that would kill you, and then switch out into another pet, and then switch back into this guy. And I've just seen him do a ridiculous amount of damage when he should die. So I think he's definitely somebody to try out in PvP. He's not particularly great in PvE, but just somebody to throw on your radar. Give him a try. I, I really like the kit, the way it all synergizes together. So that's my team, that's the first three. Now the next three I want to talk about, uh, this is one that if you are a pet collector, you definitely have it. Either you've purchased it off the auction house or you've spent the time farming it. But the Magical Crawdad, he is notorious for being one of the hardest pets in the game to kill. And that's because of Wish, which heals for 50% of your maximum health. and. He has 1,887 health, so almost 1,900 health. So that heals for about 940 health, okay? That is ridiculous. It really is insane. And I've just seen this guy take out all, like, whole other teams just because he's able to outlast them. And he could even throw up uh, Renewing Mist as well just to get additional healing. So, yeah. He is a powerhouse. He's only a 0.2% uh, drop rate from fishing in pools in the Tarokar Forest in Outland. And uh, it took me about three hours of fishing to fish up. You get like, like Mr. Crawdad or something. Uh, it's an angry crawdad and he grants you three wishes. And this guy is a one out of five chance to drop from one of those wishes. And I was lucky enough, he actually dropped on my third wish. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to go farm this guy again if it doesn't drop. But it did drop, and I was really grateful. You know, I haven't used him a ton for the reason that I hate healing teams. Uh, if you're going out of your way just to last forever against your opponent, it's just really annoying to me. That's why my favorite team is a team that kills things really quickly and stops healing. So... That does it for the Magical Crawdad. He's awesome. He's just a really solid pet and has incredible longevity. And that means you can last for a long time. Now, the next pet I want to talk about is Snarly. Okay? Now, he is one of the four baby crocolisps that comes from the uh, fishing quest outside of Shatrath. Uh, there's one that's... I can't remember the name of the quest, but it's like Crocs in the City. And what you have to do is you have to go to your capital city and you have to fish... And usually it takes, I don't know, I'd say between 10 and 35 casts. And then you fish up this crocolisk and you go back. And then that day you have a really high chance of getting uh, a crocolisk. Um, for example, the last time that daily was around that I did it, I did it on, I think, 11 of my characters. And I got 10 crocolisks. I didn't get all of them. There's one of them that I'm missing. What's his name? Uh, Muckbreath, but to be honest, he's the worst out of all. He's the balance, balance breed. But what makes these guys strong is they have the rip, blood, and the water combo, um, but they also have a basic attack. Now, in my best pets of the tamers, or the different uh, continents, excuse me, I talk about how the crabs, the Draenor crabs, have a really hard hitting. Uh, blood in the water rip combo, but they don't have any basic attacks. They usually have shell shield here And then all you can do is spam rip which is a terrible basic attack But this guy has a filler move 
So you could do rip, blood in the water, and then you can have something to actually attack with before you switch into another pet. So I'd recommend picking him up that fishing quest, just have an alt parked there when you're trying to collect them, and then just check it every day, see, oh, is it the Crocolis quest? It's not, okay, just come back a different day. So, yeah, definitely, they're fun, and they're real, I mean, they're kind of cool looking, like they're actual baby crocodiles. The last pet when it comes to aquatics, uh, we're gonna talk about is Banax. He's the exact same as a mud jumper. Uh, and he's just fantastic for undead. But here's the thing is that he's better than a mud jumper because of his breed. He's got a health power breed and the mud jumper only comes in the health balance breed and the balance balance breed, yeah. So he's better overall. And he's just like the monster when it comes to killing undeads. And this guy, you can find him out in Suramar. As soon as you do the quest to get, like I'm not really attuned to Suramar, but the introductory quest where you follow that lady around and you find like the circles on the ground. I've done it a bazillion times because I have a million level 110s. But he is a rare that's right by the flight path. And he drops every time you kill him. So, or you could pick him up on the auction house for 50 gold. But he's just fantastic versus undeads. So, anyway, that'll wrap up the aquatics. Uh, other notable mentions that I wanted to talk about was the Hydroling. He used to be really, really broken because of shell armor but then they nerf shell armor he's still a really solid pet uh very 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 strong uh the other one i'll talk about the ghost shell crab if you are trying to get the family familiar tamer he's a really good choice he's got um a magic type move on an aquatic and there's not a lot of pets that have that there's one more it's like the moon crab where is he morley i don't know maybe it's not named the moon crab Okay, well, forget about it. I was, I'm actually probably lying. Uh, the Tides Keeper, I wanted to mention him too. He is found in the way, or Serpent Shrine Caverns. I'd recommend the Health Power Breed. Uh, he's just a water type with a bunch of humanoid moves and an elemental move. He's just really good for a lot of different fights. And he hits really hard. His Crush is uh, a very, very solid choice. I uh, use him in my Surf and Galveston team. But that'll wrap it up for Aquatics. If you found this video helpful, a like rating would always be appreciated. It was a pleasure gaming with you, and have a great night.